The leaders of Christian churches in the Middle East are urging the faithful in Iraq and Syria to hold their ground and not abandon the ancient Christian land. Five Eastern patriarchs, Catholic and Orthodox, met in Lebanon with 40 other bishops representing the churches of Antioch and the Orient. They condemned the violence that is causing thousands to flee from Iraq and Syria and called on Christians to remain as representatives of Christ. One of the patriarchs, John X of the Greek Orthodox Church, personally knows the dangers posed to Christians in these lands. His brother, Bishop Paul Yadzigi, is one of the two bishops kidnapped by terrorists in Syria over a year ago. Their whereabouts are still unknown. All patriarchs and bishops are working hard to keep this little community, this little flock, in order to tell them, look, you have a big role, stay there. Patriarch Gorius III, leader of the Melkai Catholic Church based in Syria, also attended the meeting. During his visit to Brooklyn earlier this year, he explained to news director Ed Wilkinson that Christians need to stay in Syria and Iraq, despite the danger. Without them, the Middle East has little hope of democracy or freedom of religion or of reconciliation with America and Europe. There is no trust now between America and the Middle East. Some friendship, some interest with Saudi Arabia, but not trust. Europe and America are not trusting, and we have as Christians the role to bring trust between Europe, Christian Europe, and Arabic Islamic world. Mm -hmm. That is our role. You can't speak about a Christian presence without speaking and explaining the importance of the role of the Christians for the future of democracy, of freedom of religion, freedom of conscience, mm -hmm. democracy, uh, opening, news, work together, and so on and so on. That all these things, in spite of our minority, or oh, a little number of minority, let us say, we have this big role. Despite the urgings of their leaders, over 75% of Christians in Baghdad alone have left the city, one auxiliary bishop in Baghdad reports. Just days ago, the Al-Qaeda terror group ISIS proclaimed a radical Islamic state carved out of parts of Syria and northern Iraq. At the meeting in Lebanon, the patriarchs prayed for the Christians in this Al-Qaeda stronghold. These leaders urged the world to prevent the disintegration of Iraq and save its people from the scourge of a devastating war. We need more peace, and then give me peace. I can guarantee a Christian, powerful presence in the Middle East. Reporting for Currents, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.